guys, it's Abby. Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you don't have any outfit plans yet, don't worry. I have got three easy makes that will take you throughout the entire day. So whether you're going to be going to brunch in the morning, or you guys just have some afternoon plans, maybe a stroll through the park, somewhere romantic, or you've got plans to go out for dinner. I've got three outfits that are super easy. Um, they all can be downloaded as PDFs if you don't have access to the paper pattern. And if you've already got fabric in your stash, then you can easily whip one of these out in an afternoon and be ready for Valentine's Day on Sunday. So, first up is the easiest and fastest of all. This is the uh, free pattern by Megan Nielsen. It's her Veronica skirt. It's a really, really nice circle skirt. I've made quite a few of these. This is my most recent one. I made it out of a really nice metallic gold. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but it's a very stable knit um, that just drapes really, really nice. Um, one of the reasons this would be great for brunch is it is an elastic waist, so you can eat as much as you want <laughs> and you will still be comfortable. Uh, very, very comfortable. Um, it also can be paired with just about anything, so I've just paired it with a really pretty cardigan here. Perfect for a brunch. You could dress it up and wear it with a black sweater and then maybe take it out for the evening. So it can really go with anything. Uh, something else that makes it super fast is I actually left it unhemmed and Megan Nielsen does this herself. So I don't feel so bad about doing it. But since it is such a staple knit, it just made a really clean line at the bottom and I feel it looks great unhemmed. I feel like even if I had hemmed it, that it might change how it drapes at the bottom. So I've left a couple other of these unhemmed as well, um, made out of a nice drapey knit. But you can also make it out of a woven, um, and of course insert a zipper, which she gives all the directions on how to do that. So that would be what I would wear to brunch. Next up, I will show you something that you could wear in the afternoon. All right, so now we're ready for a day date. I have the Safe Tunic here by Paper Cut Patterns. I have the paper pattern here, but you can easily download this as a PDF. I made mine out of a very stable knit that I think I got from Girl Charlie. I don't know, I sewed this a year or two ago. It's actually up on my blog if you want to see some more pictures. But I really like it out of this knit. You can also make it out of a woven. It's meant for either or. If you happen to have a floral fabric in your stash, I think it's the perfect fabric choice, especially for Valentine's Day. It's just romantic, sweet flowers on Valentine's Day. It's perfect. So I think what makes this really great for Valentine's Day is also this ruffle hem. It's one of my favorite details. I think it's sweet and flirty. It also has a keyhole back, which is a little romantic. I finished it with a blush button that matches the flowers there. There is no zipper, so you can finish this much faster. Even if it is a woven, there's still no zipper that you have to install. The neckline is finished with a facing, which makes for a really clean finish. I did twin needle finish my hems here to make it look nice. I wear this typically with um, leggings and my booties there. I've also thrown on a little fur jacket with it if it's a chillier day that I'm wearing it. It is long sleeves, so if you're living somewhere where it's cold, then that'll be good. Uh, it could also look really nice with a little blazer thrown over top of it. It also does have bust starts, um, which I was kind of worried about when it was a knit, uh, how that would work, but they work just fine, but that gives a really nice shape to it. Um, so it's not just a baggy tunic, it really is really figure flattering on and I think it would really work for most body types. It's also very comfortable so if you're eating anywhere <laughs> not just brunch then you know it is very forgiving. So but you could wear this not just with leggings. This model wears it bare legged so if you're brave, you've got sexy legs, then you could easily pull that off. You could wear it bare legged with booties or you could put on some heels and then just take it out in the evening. So it really looks great with a lot even looks great with a pair of skinny jeans so I think you can really wear this wherever you go during the day on Valentine's Day. Okay so now for a dressy night out. I have another paper cut pattern here. It's the sway dress. I am a huge fan of anything swingy and sway on my body. That's what I always will choose to wear 
now for it to sew. This I made out of another stable knit. It is metallic. I hope you can see it in the video. Um, it's a really another really gorgeous fabric that I picked up in New York City. This dress is super fast to make. I've made it in just a few hours. You can also sew it out of a woven. It's meant for a woven, but I gave it a try out of a stable knit and it works just great. It's got really clean finishes, so the neck and the armhole, uh, it's a facing and it's finished with, some people call it burrito method, some people call it hot dog. Either way, it's a great method to have a clean armhole. I um, also left it unhemmed again. It's just a, such a clean knit that I think it's just fine. And I like how swingy and swaggy it is without adding the weight of a hem. It has a center seam down the front and the back, but really the front and the back are one in the same. Uh, you can wear the v-neck in the front, which I chose to do here, or you can switch it around. And if you want a more modest neckline, wear this in the front and the v in the back, which I love a v in the back too. So really either way, you can't go wrong. Both options are really nice. So I just paired it here with a nice little metallic gold clutch to tie it all together. I'm going to wear it with heels if we decide to go out for a Valentine's dinner. I'm not really sure what our plans are yet. But you could really um, wear it with any type of jacket to keep you warm. I'm sure by evening time, wherever you live, it'll be a little chilly. But I think it should be something that's a little more cropped. So you don't want something long. Um, then you'll just have too much fabric around your waist. So a really nice little cropped blazer. If you want to dress this down a little bit, maybe you're going somewhere a little more casual, you could even throw on a cropped jean jacket. You could um, wear just a little shawl over it. Lots of options to kind of cover up that area. Of course, once you get inside, you can always take it off. So I think this is a really great option for the evening. Really could work with any fabric that you probably have in your stash already. So bonus outfit, I'm actually wearing another paper cut patterns. I didn't really mean for this to be a theme, but it just kind of worked out this way. But this is the flutter blouse or tunic. It can be both. I've made it a blouse out of a nice silk. This is the tunic length here. It's got really sweet flutter sleeves that I think are just really romantic for Valentine's Day. Why I'm wearing this one is I think you could really wear this for no matter what you do on Valentine's Day. If you go out for brunch in the morning, I think it's great. You could put on booties or flats. You can put on tights. It is rather short, but I think that's what makes it so cute. Um, I'm wearing it bare-legged, um, but I think it's great with tights or leggings as well. Um, you could take it into the afternoon, wear something a little more comfortable on your feet, maybe a pair of flats, or in the evening throw on these heels here, and then it's pretty sexy for the evening. So I really like this. This is another quick sew. It also has the V in the back, which I think is another romantic detail, perfect for Valentine's Day finished with bias binding. Um, I think it's also bias binding. Nope. The sleeve is just surged and turned. So everything about this dress is quick and easy. Also a seam down the back for that v-neck. So this is actually I got this fabric at Joanne's. You might be able to still find it there. It's just a poly. Feels kind of silky. So great option no matter what you do. So that's it. I hope you guys gained some inspiration from the makes I shared with you today. I would love to hear about what you're doing for Valentine's Day, so please share in the comments below. Whether you're single or you've been married for 50 years, I hope you just enjoy the day with your loved ones. Until next time, bye.